Hi everybody, Jack Gary, Director of Archaeology for Colonial Williamsburg. We haven't had a video in a while, so I thought I'd update you on one of our newest projects that we're working on, which is here at the site of First Baptist Church. Now, quick history about the church. This is one of the oldest African-American churches in the country. And uh, the church traces its origins to around 1776, when groups of enslaved and free blacks would congregate on uh, outlying plantations to worship together. Now, by the early 19th century, so the early 1800s, they began to worship here on this lot that I'm standing on right now, which is at the intersection of Nassau Street and Francis Streets here in Williamsburg. And um, they had a building, we know by 1818, there was a building standing on this lot, you know, maybe even close to where I'm standing right now. It's referred to on a tax document as the Baptist Meeting House. Now, this structure stands until around 1834 when a tornado severely damages it or possibly even completely demolishes it. Several decades go by and then the church rebuilds a structure on this lot, a brick building, uh, that's dedicated in 1856. That structure, which we have pictures of, stands for the next 100 years and the congregation continues to worship there until the 1950s, when Colonial Williamsburg approached them as part of the restoration of the historic area purchased the church and purchased property and moved the congregation and their church uh, where they built a new church on a new piece of property on Scotland Street. After that, the 1856 church was demolished and a parking lot was put on top of it. Well, we're coming back now and we're coming back to understand this property much better so that we can interpret it. We're working with the congregation on the ways to interpret it and just to see what is here, what is left of the 1856 church and are there any earlier structures that we can identify as the earliest permanent structure of the church? So I want to show you around the site a little bit to see what we've started to work on. So we're using excavation to be able to get down, see if we can find any of these foundations. And we've already found some really good evidence of these structures. So if we'll come up here, so we've got one foundation that we see running here. This, so from here to here, all this brickwork in here. This is the foundation of the 1856 church. This is actually the north wall of the 1856 church. Now, just beside it, Victoria, you mind if I stand in here? So just beside the foundation for the 1856 church, we see brickwork for another earlier foundation that's starting to pop up. So here, 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 and here. Now, in 1957, Colonial Williamsburg did a preliminary excavation on this site, and they had actually found these, these structures, but we knew about the 1856 church. The other foundation, it was just listed as an earlier foundation. We, we're not sure what it's associated with or how much earlier it actually is. So the, our excavations right now are um, focusing really on this, this foundation here to see if we can get evidence for how old this is. Does it relate to the church? Does it relate to the early 19th century when the church was here? Or is this something that's completely different? So it's still a little bit of a mystery, but we're really excited that these foundations are still intact and we can do more work on them. Now, if we have a chance here, we'll go over and we'll take a look at one more area uh, that Deshandra is working on. And we'll We'll appropriately socially distance here, but this is Deshandra Dandridge, another one of our field technicians, and she is da coming down on top of another earlier section, or a section of an earlier building, most likely associated with the, that early foundation I was just showing you. And I'll move out of the way here in just a second, and uh, we'll let you kind of zoom in on what appears to be a brick paving that is just outside the foundations of that earlier building. Again, we knew this was here from 1957 excavations, but there was very little that was known about it or understood about it at the time. So by uncovering it again, we're hoping to get more information about it. So I'll let you uh, kind of zoom in there and take a look at it. So the goals of this, this stage of our excavation are really to get an understanding of what is left here, um, get an understanding of what kind of layers of soil we're dealing with, artifacts that we're dealing with, so that we can come up with a determination of, can we do more archaeology on the site? Will new archaeology help us to understand this site better? Will it help us to understand the buildings that were here? Will it help us to understand how the congregation used and worshipped on this property? Uh, and so far, the, the results are, are saying yes. Uh, I think we will be able to do that. So um, stay tuned. We'll bring you more as we uncover more. And I appreciate it.